Hey guys, welcome back. Today is a, like, special video. So, as you know, it's getting close to Christmas. And, well, um, my last four-wheeler got really, like, got small, too small for me. I outgrew it. It was a Chinese brand four-wheeler. Actually, lasted a really long, probably longer than it should have. And uh, we sold it. Uh, we fixed it up a bunch, sold it. And, um, so then we started looking on, my dad looked on Facebook Marketing, and he found this really good deal on a Can-Am DS250, 2015, and here it is. So you guys saw the picture on the thumbnail. This is it, just in my garage. Looks really good. I like the yellow and black. I mean, literally, there's, like, no problem with this thing, and there's like almost no difference between a 2015 and a 2019 model with the uh, like this type of four wheeler. And like the whole thing is just it's just powerful, fast, and I mean, it's just made and like it's just made out of good materials. Well, so just a good four wheeler. I mean, it's really strong and plastic. Like, I'm not gonna try to break it, but like if I push pretty hard, this stuff barely moves, just kind of goes down and up a little. That's about it. Like, it's on there, though, you know? And the only problem with this thing was literally just that. Just the crack there and the crack right there, and that was it. Like, the seat, the seat, uh, one rip in it, and that's it. Like, there's nothing else wrong with this thing. Like, it works fine. In fact, the guy even put new brakes on the front and back that we bought it from. And the person that had it before him, because, like, the person we bought it from only used it three or four times... And they only had it for about a year and a half. And that's why they, well, I mean, they sold it. For, I guess, multiple reasons. And the person that had it before them, that I'm not sure how much he had it, but he installed this little switch. So it says, like, right here, that's on. And that's off. So right now it's off. But, um, if you guys have four wheelers and you guys like to ride in the summer, I'm sure you know that if you ride a bunch, at one point it does get too hot. And that's what this is for, so... See, so if I turn that on, see how it's not hot, obviously, you said you would have been riding it. But if I did, it would look like that. And this actually prevents that if I turn it on. Turns on a fan in the front of the formula that cools down the engine whenever it's, like, really hot or if it's a... Like, so it doesn't come here, because it actually prevents it. So, if it's, like, a really hot day, I could still be riding, like, for a while. Um, and if you guys saw this, yes, the front wheels are smaller than the back. Um, so yeah, they're the same height, but, like, back wheels are just, like, fat. Look at this. It's almost, well, I guess, like, another, another quarter fatter than the front. But it actually does help it with, the. Uh, just like gripping, getting some weight in the back to push. Well, that's what I think it does at least, because I mean, I, most of the, the speed four wheelers have that. Um, but yeah, here's the fan, by the way, right there. Uh, front bumper guard. And I guess it's kind of like a back guard. I don't know. I mean, it's more probably to attach stuff to. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm not sure much because my, like, last four-wheeler was a utility. This is more of a sports style, so, you know. It was really funny when we brought this thing home from yesterday. The person was, like, an hour away, and it didn't fit in the back of my dad's truck. Um, oh, my parents' truck. <laughs> so we had to, like, take uh, some string. The guy, or not string, but rope. Oh, man. We had some rope, and he had to tie it back to the bit, like, in, and put the emergency brake on it, and put it in neutral. And, I mean, that's probably all he would do, even if he didn't. Well, he probably wouldn't do the rope if it fit, but here's the emergency brake. He just, I don't really have two hands. Just push that. So, yeah, it's got the gears right here. Forward. That's it. We got the lights. I guess that's one more thing. Lights are attached to right here. And very good lights. Very bright. Turn it on. Oh, wrong way. Those are the lights. See the 
And I can't see how I'm doing without that cam. And so yeah, that's the Can Am 250. Bye.